sensory analysis sight is the first sense to be involved. Observing an espresso, the first thing you notice is the color of the crema layer. I reproduced here a sample of all its possible colors on this chromatic scale. Let's have a look at how to evaluate it when judging an espresso. The color of the crema is influenced by the coffee roasting process and even more by a correct extraction by the machine. That means the right water pressure, temperature and grind size. When the extraction is incomplete, the water retains too little coffee so your espresso is tasteless and without body. With the crema layer like this one, pale yellow. In case of over extraction, because of the excessive temperature and pressure, the espresso will be burned, so the crema will become dark brown, like this one. Correct extraction should result in a crema like this, with the color between light and dark hazelnut brown. Do you want to judge an espresso with your eyes? Look at the texture of the crema layer. Yes, texture. Comes from the mix of fibers, proteins and natural fat of coffee beans. A machine with a perfect pressure extracts every element in the right quantity. Good quality beans, together with correct extraction, generate a crema that looks like this. Compact, smooth, silky and shiny. On the contrary, if you use poor quality beans and the extraction is incorrect, Proteins and natural fats on the surface are not enough to fill the empty space between fibers in the texture structure. Result, your crema will be uneven, coarse and rough, like this cloth. high quality coffee beans. My full automatic Saeco machine that guarantees a perfect extraction thanks to unique components like ceramic grinders and thanks to masterful settings. A nutty colored cream. A thick texture, smooth and silky. These are the ingredients for a perfect espresso recognizable at first sight. Espresso Perfetto by Saeco respects specific sensory parameters as certified by Centro Studi Assaggiatori Italian Tasters. And this is why it conquers right from the first sense. Sight. Olfactory intensity is the combination of all positive or negative sensations that you feel smelling. In coffee you can find, even if in a small quantity, the same molecules of citrus fruit, flowers, honey, caramel, licorice and dark chocolate. But also of hazelnut, walnuts, cereals, freshly baked bread. As you get familiar with all of these aromas through your life experience, your brain makes you relieve the sensations you felt then each time you smell them. Therefore, to judge an espresso, it's a good idea to focus on the scents evoked by its smell. Just try! A masterpiece espresso like the one I prepare in my cafe with selected high-quality coffee beans evokes different aromas. those of dried fruits, the toasted ones like chocolate, and the spicy ones like licorice. You can find all of them in the Espresso Perfetto by Saeco certified by Centro Studi Assaggiatori Italian Tasters according to specific sensory parameters. This is why it's perfect harmony. The 
first sensation you can perceive while tasting an espresso is the body. It can be too weak, watery, like this liquid. Or, on the contrary, it can give you the feeling of being a thick liquid, gorgeously syrupy, like this one. Body is the characteristic of espresso that slowly conquers the tongue and then envelops the whole mouth. To appreciate an espresso during tasting, you have to consider three characteristics. Bitterness, acidity, and astringency. The way in which they're balanced is fundamental. If they're not harmonious, the taste is sharp, almost disturbing. If, on the contrary, bitterness and acidity are balanced and the astringency is minimal, the taste gives back a round feeling, enjoyable and well-balanced. By tasting a perfect espresso made with my Seiko machine, we experience the harmony of a balanced taste, thanks also to its sensory profile, which is certified by Centro Studi Assaggiatori Italian Tasters. Mm. The right temperature, dense and thick round body, and the perfect balance between acidity and bitterness conquer the palate and the whole mouth. Perfetto. You can evaluate the aroma of an espresso from its intensity and from the absence of traces of burnt flavor. This is the sign that coffee beans have been selected and processed in the right way. The aroma of cappuccino can also be recognized by the absence of traces of burnt flavor, but many other factors are relevant, for example, the presence of cheesy notes. Remember, it's the aroma, the combination of all olfactory perception that you feel both smelling and tasting that leaves the sensation of pleasure typical of espresso. In an espresso you can find the positive notes of fresh and dried fruit, traces of toasted flavors that remind us of chocolate or bread crust, a spicy scent of licorice, cloves and vanilla can give the final touch to the espresso. The touch of surprise. Thanks to my Saeco machine, its calibrated settings and the use of high quality coffee beans, I can always offer an espresso with full aroma, rich in dried fruit notes. They recalls the pleasure of chocolate and freshly baked bread. The aroma of the espresso must be a unique delight, just like the one of the Espresso Perfetto by Saeco obtained respecting the sensory parameters as certified by Centro Studi Assaggiatori Italian Tasters. It is a simply perfect espresso, similar to the one Italian baristas prepare. <laughs>